After a lifetime of preparation and several grueling weeks as a nominee, Neil Gorsuch has arrived at the Supreme Court. There's just one problem. He's the junior most justice. The Supreme Court is steeped in tradition and seniority. As such, a new justice experiences a gentle hazing. For example, there is a regular closed-door conference, which is held in this room, which C-SPAN was able to photograph in 2009. Only justices are allowed to attend the meeting. No clerks, no assistants, just the nine. And the junior most justice is charged with answering the door. Seriously. Here's how Justice Elena Kagan, the former junior justice, described the task during a talk at Princeton University. I mean, literally, if there is a knock on the door and I don't hear it, there will not be a single other person who will move. They'll just all stare at me until I, until I figure out, oh, I guess somebody knocked on the door. And, and these two jobs, the kind of notes taking and the door opening, can get, you can see how they can get in the way of each other. And it gets worse. The junior justice is in charge of the cafeteria committee. It's not a very good cafeteria. So this is really just the opportunity that they have to just kind of haze you all the time, actually. Like, I don't know, Elena, this food isn't very good. Justice Stephen Breyer is the recent champion junior justice. He served a near record-breaking 11 years during a stretch when membership didn't change. And while this aspect of Supreme Court life might resemble high school, Gorsuch, with a dream docket of constitutional cases before him, is going to enter perhaps the last area of Washington that still appreciates collegiality. Antonin Scalia and Ruth Bader Ginsburg were ideological opposites but close friends, even traveling together on occasion. Justices are known to help each other out, regardless of rank. Here's what Clarence Thomas said in 2013 when Scalia helped him. I can honestly say that as beat up as I was when I got there with the workload, I don't know how I would have gotten through it uh, if he hadn't been there. Um, the, he became quickly a friend. New colleagues come on and you make adjustments and they become your family. And Justice Ginsburg had a similar anecdote when she got tasked with writing a difficult opinion. I saw Justice O'Connor's advice. It was simple. Just do it. <laughs> and then after the opinion was issued, the encouragement continued. She gave an attendant a note for me. It read, this is your first opinion for the court. It is a fine one. I look forward to many more. Mm -hmm.